Welcome to the first session of the week and last, actually, from the week. We're going to work with the grammar from Lesson 9C, A Day Out, and vocabulary from uh, that same lesson, and 9D, Time for a Change. We decided to merge, basically, this uh, two into one video because 9D was pretty much a practice from Lesson 9C in terms of grammar. So we decided to do that, and I'm your instructor, Joey Walker. So what are we going to do in this session? Well, in this session, we will learn vocabulary, basically animals, uh, deciding what to do. In this case, we're going to uh, focus on the use of would, expressions of preference. We're going to use rather and prefer, and the difference, we're going to learn the difference between would and like to. So let's start with the vocabulary animals. Here we have a series of pictures and we're going to match them as the name comes by. For example, a cow. This would be the cow. Tiger. Here's the tiger. Chicken. This is the chicken. And the last one would be the lion. This guy is the lion. All right. Let's move on. Next set of pictures. We have the following. Here we have a wolf, here's the wolf, a monkey, there's the monkey, the sheep, this fluffy fella is the sheep, and finally the rabbit, here's our rabbit. Last slides for the vocabulary animals. This will be used also in our lesson, so let's check it. Here we have a bird. This would be a bird. Not a, I don't know the specific type of bird, but in the vocabulary for the lesson, it only says bird. Next one would be a mouse. So here we have a mouse. Next one is a gorilla. And finally, we have a snake. All right, let's go to the grammar. We use wood to express uh, basically future a future possibility, we use would to express um, any desire in a formal way or in a polite way. So whenever we want to conjugate it, we say, I would accept, we can use a contraction. I would as I'd, I'd accept, you would accept, is you'd accept, he would accept, he'd accept, we would accept, we'd accept, you would is you'd accept and they would, they'd accept. So contraction for would is apostrophe D and affirmative. I'd, you'd, he'd, we'd, they'd. All right. Or it is missing. It, it, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Right? Negative, we use wouldn't. We add an apostrophe T to would, so I wouldn't accept. You wouldn't go. She wouldn't play. We wouldn't run in the rest, right? So we say you wouldn't. And interrogative, we start with the auxiliary. We say would. Would you go? Would I accept? Would you go? Would he play? Would we try? Would you accept? Would they run any other verb? We always use would in the verb. Accept, run, go in any form. Whenever we use the would, we use the base form. Okay, the base form. I would be, uh, she would go, they would play. All right, moving on. Here, how do we structure the sentences? Would, like, when we're talking about specifically would, would, like. I would like... Contraction could be I'd like. Okay, there's two ways of doing this. Whenever we want to say an affirmative sentence, we say subject plus would plus like, or subject plus would plus like plus the base form, adding two. Example sentence, when you're using it with a noun, that is with an object, you say I'd like, then the object, a slice of cake. I would like a slice of cake or I'd like a slice of cake, please. Remember that we're using I would like as want. I want a slice of cake, please. Or just to be polite, you say I want a slice of cake. I'd like a slice of cake. 
Okay, so we say, I'd like a slice of cake. We can use the same, would like, but with a verb, with a, I, in this case, we would use, I'd like to, or I would like to, okay? So we say, I would like to go on vacation. You can say, I want to go on vacation. You say, I'd like to go on vacation, all right? So we say, would like to, would like to, I would like to, I would like to, or I'd like to. In the negative, same case, we're going to use it with a noun. She wouldn't like an expensive bag. She wouldn't like, uh, she wouldn't like an expensive bag. She wouldn't like to have an accident check. Whenever we use a noun, she wouldn't like an expensive bag. She wouldn't like some socks. And whenever we use a verb, we have to use the infinitive form. Two, you wouldn't like to make him angry. You wouldn't like to have an accident. You wouldn't like to have to make this. You wouldn't like to sing in public, for example. For the questions, we would say, would you? Would you like? Would you like an apple? Okay, check. Would you like an apple? We use a, an for singulars. And for plurals, we use some, and for uncountables, we use some. So we say, would you like an apple? Or would you like a pear? Would you like some rice? Whenever we want to offer, offer somebody food, we say, would you like an apple? Would you like a pear? Would you like some vegetables? Okay, and then in the derivative form, we use the same, would you like? To, right? Since we're using a verb, we use like to. Would you like to? To, to, to. I would like to. I wouldn't like to. So would you like to? Would you like to go swimming next week? Would you like to go swimming next week? So we use infinitive to. Would you like to su go swimming? Would you like to dance tomorrow? Would you like to have uh, dinner with me? Maybe. I'm offering my requesting. Uh, going out for dinner, okay? Now, what's the difference between would you like and do you like, or I'd like and I like, okay? Whenever we say would you like, you're using this that, to express that you want something. If you say, I want an ice cream, I want an ice cream, I would like an ice cream, or I'd like an ice cream, okay? That's an affirmative. If you say would you like, you're offering somebody uh, somebody, food, or you're making an offer in general, you don't say, do you want? You can say, do you want? Do you want Do you want rice? But that's not polite. You say, would you like rice, for example? Here we have some other examples. Would you like some chocolate? So you're offering someone chocolate. Would you like some rice? You're offering someone rice. We just say, do you like to ask about a preference in general, okay? So we say, do you like chocolate? Making it as a general, if it's uh, something that some people prefer to eat or not. Do you like rice? It's asking about preferences in general. For example, you can say, I like oranges. I like pears. Uh, I like uh, whatever, right? I like pears. I like oranges. I like bananas, okay? Negative, I don't like. Okay. So, like and don't like. Now, that we know this, let's do a little exercise. Here we have, would you like? First, we're going to complete the questions. So, here we're missing one part of the question. It's either a, an, or some. Okay? So, let's verify. Number one, would you like an ice cream? We're using ice cream as singular, uncountable, that's like an ice cream cone, we use an. We use an because this one has a vowel. We don't say a ice cream, we say an ice cream. Would you like an ice cream cone? Next one, would you like some oranges? Check oranges, plural. So you say, would you like some oranges? About the next one, would you like a drink? Check an ice cream because it's a vowel sound. The next word. A drink because it's a consonant sound. Next one, would you like some grapes again? Plural form, some grapes. Would you like some grapes? 
would you like some cherries? Again, plural, and would you like a biscuit? Now let's focus on the answers. Whenever we say, would you like a nice thing? We go to the queue here, and it's uh, not a happy face, it's a sad face. So you say no, if you don't want it, you say no. Thank you. Would you like an ice cream? You'll say, no. Now you have to be polite. Would you like an ice cream? Somebody's offering you ice cream. You say, no, thank you. Okay. Next one. Would you like some oranges? The cue is a happy face. So, yes, please. Since it's being polite, you have to say please and thank you for being polite. So we say, yes, please. Would you like some oranges? Yes, please. Would you like an ice cream? No, thank you. Okay. Thank you and please for being polite because would is being polite. Would you like a drink? Since we're being offered a drink, we can say yes and the drink itself. For example, yes. Mineral water, please. Yes. A Coke, please. Yes. A uh, lemonade, please. Okay, yes, coffee, please. Whatever drink that you can think of, you can put it here in the middle. Next one. Would you like some grapes? Here we have a sad face. So we say, not now, thanks. If you don't want them in this specific moment, you can say, not now, thanks. Maybe later. Or you can say, not now, thanks. Or you can say, not now, maybe later. Okay. Next one, would you like some cherries? Here we have a sad face. So here we have an option. If we're, let's say, in a restaurant and they have several options, we can use the following phrase. No, thank you. I'd rather have some strawberries, please. If you know that the person has strawberries, you can say, no, thank you. I'd rather have some strawberries, please. Or no, thank you. I would prefer some strawberries, please. You can use I'd rather or I prefer. Both ones are correct. And the last one, would you like a biscuit? He says, yes, I'd love one. Okay, this is the best way to say that you really, really want or you really, really like what they are offering you. So would you like a biscuit? Yes, I'd love one. Or if it's a verb, would you like to dance? Yes, I'd love two. If it's a verb, yes, I'd love to. Would you like to have dinner with me? Yes, I would love to. Or yes, I'd love to. Okay, if it's a verb, we finish, yes, I'd love to. If it's a uh, noun, yes, I'd love one. 